Hey, yo, slam your eyeballs against this. I was sneaking in people and scoping a scene, you know, comping a major toot. When I cut loose this bunch of dweebs, whoa, I've been trying to teach him some rude. Ah, dog, that is. It's Rude Joe and the dweebs. Rude Joe. <laughs> Such a rude Joe. Yo, dudes, get rude. Sometimes I just gotta get away from the dweeb so I can think. This is one of those times. This is the way my life used to be. Cruising and schmoozing. Schmoozing and cruising. Hi, Rude Dog. Tough gig, right? Ah, but those were the good old days before the seven fractured fur balls known as the dweebs came into my life. Since then, things have been, uh, how should I say this, uh, different? Check it out. Nice toss there, Bonnie. But uh, couldn't you guys find something more constructive to do than play hardball in the living room? Oh, we, we're sorry, Rude Dog, but sometimes we run out of things to do. And when that happens, we don't know what we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We're talking terminal boredom here, right? You know what your problem is, dweebs? Not enough exercise? Insufficient diet, sir? I know! We're stupid! <laughs> I bet I win! Are these guys quick or what? No, dweebs, you're only half right. It's not diet or exercise. And you're not totally without brains. Such is. Wrong, Reggie. You guys are just missing a little info. Info? Yeah, you know, facts, information, knowledge. Knowledge? Uh, well, perhaps I can help, sir. Information about what? Everything. Oh, that. Well, gee, Rude Dog, where are us dweebs going to get information like that? At the Museum of Invention, which is exactly where I'm taking you as soon as you guys are ready. <laughs> We ready, Rude Dog? Yeah! <laughs> what is a museum anyway? Just get in the car. <laughs> All right, dweebs, listen up. Now, once we get inside, I want you to behave yourselves. I don't think we're gonna get inside, Rude Dog. Look. No dweebs allowed. <sighs> Now this is not a pretty picture. Hey, dweebs, dweebs, relax. Rude Dog is not known for letting down his buddies, huh? But Rude Dog, the, the sign said no dweebs allowed. Yeah, well, Tweak, what the sign doesn't know won't hurt it. Come on. I said we were going to the museum, and that's where we're going. Will you guys pipe down? We're not all the way in yet. Oh, look, Tom. Oh, brother. A baby carriage. May we? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. I mean, what interesting children. Come on, Tom. There they are, y'all. I guess they just don't like kids. Very funny, Caboose. Okay, dweebs, let's find some place to lose these costumes and get on with our tour. Hey, I can't see! I, I believe I've been trashed. Hey, good thinking, Winston. Well, actually, I don't recall thinking of anything at all, sir. Come on, you guys, toss the other stuff in there and let's go. I thought you said you tied that stuff down! Tied all that stuff down! Yeah. What the? Never mind! Come on! Huh? 
Now, according to that call from the museum, a woman spotted them dweebs dressed up like a couple pushing a baby buggy. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Baby buggy. What's a baby buggy? All we gotta do is nab that couple, and we got ourselves a whole bunch of dweebs behind bars. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> then the museum will probably thank us for keeping them dumb dweebs from wrecking the place. Yeah! Yo, dweebs, behold! This place is filled with stuff invented by guys like you who couldn't find nothing to do. Wow! Look at that! Boy, they sure must have had one heck of a big house. <gasps> Pay attention, Dumbo. They're right over there, see? Uh, ooh. Now, here's my plan. <laughs> Look, Bob, a lost dog. Hi, boy. <laughs> I got you now, you dirty little... Stop! Stop! my baby! <laughs> okay, the jig is up, you... <laughs> cute little baby. There he is, Bob. Oh, wait. Just a minute. I'm gonna explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. It'll be a long time before he touches anybody's baby again. Okay, dweeb, slam your eyeballs against this. You are about to participate in a demonstration of one of man's most basic inventions. Uh, the safe, right? No, dummy, the rope. You're both wrong. What we're talking about here is a block and tackle. The what? The block and tackle, right here. A device which allows one dweeb to have the strength of 20. A veritable super dweeb. Sanch, you and Reggie there try to lift that safe by pulling the rope. Okay, stop, babe. Tweak, you try pulling your rope. Huh? This ought to be good for a laugh. But Root Dog did it. But nothing. Do it. Well, okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh boy. Tweak got a much stronger rope than we had. Close, Satch. You see, Tweak's got five ropes in one because he is using a block and tackle. Wow! Root Dog, look how strong I am. I see, sir. What is this swelling? Well, Dweebs, what do you think it is? Gee, I don't know. Um, a merry-go-round. <laughs> a giant egg beater. A corn husker. A hair dryer. Exercise bike. Wrong, Dweebs. This is the very first helicopter. Well, oh. well, huh? Start battling, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my! Oh dear! I say! Oh. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Created a long time ago by some guy named Da Vinci in Italy. Cut that out, will ya? You're supposed to be looking for dweebs, not lifting weights. Well, I did. Uh oh. Girl, give me that! Stupid oh, lame brain! Canine! Speak, boy! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good dog! Now this invention, the catapult, was used in battle by ancient soldiers to throw rocks at castle walls. Boy, those guys must have been real bored. Can we see it work, rude dog? I'm afraid not, Bonnie. According to the museum, this one doesn't work right. Oh, Come on. 
This ain't working out, Roth. We are never going to find the dweebs in here this way. Hey, a helicopter. Yeah, I hear my... <laughs> I think our luck just changed, buddy boy. Hop on, Rod. You pedal and I'll spy. Ready? Go. <laughs> Hold it right there, you dirty dog! Huh? I'm here. Huh? No, not you, stupid! Keep! <laughs> Pedaling. Why? Dumb dog. Dumb dog. Well, it's been about a week since our little trip to the museum. I've been praying overtime that some of that info rubbed off on the dweebs, but you never know. Uh, obviously, here in Dweebville, progress is not our most important product. Yo, Goliath, could you lower me a can of soda, please? Huh? Uh, oh, sure thing, Adi. Whoa. You can lead a dweeb to info, but you can't make him think. Hey, hey, okay, now lighten up on a chit-chat, and let's get back to our story, huh? This started out to be one of those days when I could actually hear the beach calling. That is definitely not the beach I was referring to. Check, please. This way for main floor seating. Corn rolls, custard pie, and Mexican hat dance. I win. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought I won. As rest assured, Mr. Satch, in the column under competitors, your name will be conspicuously absent. Oh, let me in, quick! Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, please! I believe the Tweakster would like permission to enter, sir. Yo, maybe one of you dweebs could open the door? Uh, my sentiments exactly, sir. Oh, let me in, let me in, please! Hey, I thought one of you guys was gonna let Tweak in. Uh, I thought Caboose was gonna do it. <laughs> Uh, gee, uh, I thought that uh, Winston was... Quite naturally, I assumed that Mr. Satch was going to open the door, since he was the closest. Dweebs. Whoa, sounds like the tweak machine is coming around back, Winston. Yes, I believe you're correct, sir. Then hit it. Now! Wow! Seriously! That was... Closer than I thought. Hey, you It's Seymour. It's Seymour. Boy, he's stiff as a board. That is a board, Satch. This is Seymour. Yeah, he don't look too good, neither. All right, step back. Give the guy some air, will ya? Whoa, bada boom, bada bing. This little kitty is out cold. Yoo-hoo. Hello in there. Meowski. All right, give him a few seconds, Tweeps. Go ahead, Tweak. It's safe. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Tweak. 
Listen here, Mr. Cat. You don't scare me. Not a bit. No, sir. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, oh, go on. You can do it. Go Dog. Oh, really? And uh, who are they? The, the Dweebs. Hello. Uh, then who am I? Your name's Seymour. It is. Ah, oh, boy. Gee, R.D., is this the cat we know? Cat? What's a cat? I believe he has a case of magnesia. Not magnesia, amnesia. Yeah, precisely. No, 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 it's worse than that. I, I think he done lost his mind. Yo, dweebs, you can stop with the 20 guesses, all right? I don't think our unexpected guest here knows who or what he is. <laughs> this is weird. You mean he doesn't even know he's a captain? Yeah, that's the ticket, Tweak. Hey, this guy has no idea what a hep cat he is. Huh? Hep cat? Me? Ray, he, you know, top dog. What? Dog? Meow. Oh, I'm a dog. Ray, the big dog. Head honcho, he the main man. Hey, 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 excuse me, Dr. Roof. What do you think you're doing? Don't you get it, R.D.? If he doesn't know he's a cat and we tell him he's a dog, he'll stop clobbering us. Oh, I know there's a reason why I didn't think of that. But at this particular moment, it escapes me. Stay tuned. Give me three, man. Three what? Ah, oh, boy. Hey, the caddy's ready, fellas. Let's hit the beach. Beach, 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 Yo, fellas, we got your basic booty pat at 2 o'clock. You tell him, Seymour. <laughs> Whoa. Unusual style in the surf there, fellas. I give it a 9-5. Very dramatic. <laughs> Thanks. As you can see, Cat turning out the no ordinary dog. My favorite boogie board busted. Yes, well, perhaps we could make them into some sort of boogie shoes. <laughs> I know just how you feel, Quacky. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to do next, fellas? It occurred to me that having a cat for a dog was losing its magic for the dweebs. You know, Seymour, babe, before you and the dweebs have any more, uh, fun, we should talk. Huh? Dweebs, I think it's time we level with our buddy here. Level with me? Uh-huh. You see, pal, you're not a dog, you're a cat. A cat? What's that mean? Well, for one thing, man, you eat mice. I eat mice? Yes, disgusting, isn't it? Phew, yeah, sounds awful. How am I gonna learn to be a cat? Yeah, you know, dweebs, you think you can handle this? Come on, you guys, of course you can handle it. You guys are gonna teach me? Great, where do we start? Before you walk, you gotta learn to crawl, right? Well, before you cat, you gotta learn to kitten. Get it? Come on. 
Welcome to Yarn Ball 101. Uh, so what am I supposed to do with this? Simple, Seymour. You chase it. That's it? Bingo. Oh, like this, Root Dog? Oh, here we go. Uh, something like that. That doesn't look like much fun to me. Hey, I agree, babe. But you cats been doing that since your ancestors coughed up the first hairball. We cough up hairballs? Sure do. Like this. <laughs> See? What a revolting demonstration. Boy, uh, better let me have a whack at that yarn deal. No problema. Yo, Sanch, you suppose you could tear yourself away from that yarn ball for a second? Huh? Never mind. Reggie, toss another one here. You're on your own, my furry feline friend. Reg? Beats eating mice. <laughs> Hello. Time for a cat nap. Gee, Woo Dog, is he okay? Kibble, right now, I'd say this kitty is about seven pails short of a full sandbox. He'll be all right, won't he, Art D? Seymour! <laughs> Please to meet you, Dweeble Doodle. <laughs> Tweet, get out of there. <laughs> Boy, that Seymour is a fast learner. All she has to say. Yo, Winston, open the door. Now! Precisely, sir! Gee, having Seymour Bank is like music to the ears, huh, Rude Dog? A regular alley cat concerto, Reg. Will Tweak be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. But this just goes to prove, dweebs, a cat by any other name is still a poor excuse for a dog. And vice versa, right, Satch? Huh? How? Oh, <laughs>